to do it. Hi <laughs> guys, or well, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, yeah, this is day 20 of my 21 day challenge. And of course I missed a day. Um, I put a update about that on my social media, but when I had to like adjust my content or whatever, obviously because South Africa was going through a lockdown and alcohol was banned, a lot of reasons. But um, yeah, this is day 20. I just thought that today, would be a really good time for me to have like a reflection on some of the things that I'm grateful for, some of the things that I've learned up until now. Um, and it was necessary to do this because as you guys know, I was like, ah, 21 days of having fun, whatever, whatever, whatever. God said, oh. <laughs> God was like, okay, 21 days, let's go. Um, yeah, if I had to tell you the amount of changes and the things that have happened, to tell you the things that have happened between when I started this challenge up until now, you probably wouldn't believe me, um, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I've been going through extreme changes in almost every aspect of my life, but I really am grateful to God because I was praying for answers, I was praying for a breakthrough. Um, he didn't have to come in this strong, <laughs> but he pulled through and I'm just grateful to to God and to prayer for bringing me at a point where it's the day before my birthday and I'm okay, you know, I'm okay and I'm excited and I've got a lot of things figured out and I'm back on my feet, especially academically. Um, there was a point in the semester where for the first time I actually thought that you know I wasn't going to actually make it um, and that had a lot to do with my mental health and just about my environment and people that I was surrounding myself with a lot of reasons but I'm at a point now where it's really really taken a turn and I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, I also just want to say thank you. Uh, I will be posting a video tomorrow of course because um, we're going to finish the 21 days um, and I'll be posting a video tomorrow, um, hopefully a birthday vlog or, you know, something else. But that will be happening just to finish 21 days. But yeah, this 21 days has been so much fun. It's been so challenging in terms of YouTube, just filming and editing every single day and planning things out around all the craziness that's happening in my life, including um, academics. So thank you so much for riding with me. I really don't think... You guys understand how amazing it is to see your comments, to laugh with you, to hear your debates. It just makes this whole thing so worth it and it reminds me why I love to create content and why um, I'm so grateful for starting this channel. Whatever this journey means for me, um, I'm very grateful to that. So I wanted to jump into like maybe five things. Small things that I'm grateful for leading up to my birthday and things that I've learned um, that I'm very happy that I've learned at my 20 like by my 21st um and yeah i hope some of you can relate and i can leave you with a little bit of wisdom because i'm going older um so yeah let's get started. all these expectations i think for 21 i remember last year i didn't have the greatest of years and i was like you know what third year is my year where i'm gonna you know take back control of my life manifest all the things that i want you know um and god had other plans but one thing that I have learned up until now is to be very intentional about the things that you want. Not only to the people in your life in terms of like actions and physical things, but to God when you pray. You know, be very intentional about the things that you pray for. And be very direct when you speak to him about the kinds of things that you want to see in your life and manifest that every single day and every time you say a prayer. Um, I have always been close to God. I grew up in the church. My mom especially was never shy about explaining how important God was in our lives. And she made sure that we knew that. I think to, as I got older, it started becoming more of my responsibility to keep that relationship going. And I wasn't necessarily doing well when I started at Varsity. And I do have a goal to really improve that as soon as I'm allowed to and I'm able to in terms of physically going to church 
but having a relationship with god can really change your whole life around and it can it can make you see things in a light that you can't and think though in a way that you cannot see without speaking to him and seeking and going to him first you know so that's one thing manifest everything that you want in your life be very intentional about what you want also to people um I'm a, I'm a type of person that doesn't like conflict and i don't ever like to expect too much or to demand things that will end up making me feel like it's a reflection of me and my character you know and so because of that i've not been that intentional and i've not been that vocal about the kind of things that i want the kind of things that i don't want um and i've i've honestly stopped that i've taken a complete turn um no matter what it looks like to anyone else your intentions need to be clear and you should never be afraid of that next thing that i think i've learned up until now is that not everyone's gonna like you and you shouldn't want everyone to like you um i don't know how else to put it but i've gotten very used to hate quite honestly um and not, i've never been the type of person to care about what other people think honestly um simply because i think it's just because of how i was raised and also because i always grew up with my sisters so i was never had expectations of friends or outside people however what i didn't realize is that you need to be comfortable with being disliked we're so concerned about being liked that we forget to be comfortable with the fact that there are people that are going to dislike you um, and quite honestly i'm okay with that because i don't think that there's a person on this earth who gets along with everybody and that's for a reason your values your destiny your morals are not always going to align with other people around you and some people hate you for that um you're going to fall out with people you're going to disagree with people and there'll be a hundred different versions of the story and people will not like you because of that so you'll be disliked because of that but if you're always staying true to yourself and you're always doing things that make you happy and giving and taking in relationships that matter to you being disliked should never even shake you. It shouldn't even bother you if someone can turn around and say, I don't like Nubutle. That should not bother you. Um, because I do believe that God places people in our lives that are here to like us and that are here to improve our lives. And if there's people who don't, then they most probably don't belong in your life. So remember that. Be comfortable with being disliked. The third thing I would say is be more selective about the people that you keep around you i think that often even in a university environment we hang around a lot of people and a lot of those people think they know you and a lot of those people think you're friends because you chill with them you groove with them you drink with them your, your drinking friends your going out friends your class friends are not always necessarily your friends and be careful how much of yourself you allow people to access you know have your boundaries and keep certain people afar from you because i say this all the time human beings are very selfish and you will lose a lot if that is your sole purpose in life is to please and be friends with everyone um the biggest lesson that i've learned in this three weeks is that you have to be very serious and selective about the type of people that you call a friend specifically because i think that to a certain extent we have to surround ourselves with people who are raised to the same level of decency as us else you'll always be disappointed you know you'll expect something in a relationship that will end up making you compromise your own morals or your own beliefs in hopes that that person is going to see things the way that you see them and that's not worth it um i think that's the biggest way that we make mistakes in life and some of those mistakes are going to be regrets forever i don't believe in regrets by the way regrets are stupid it's already happened you can always wake up the next morning and be a different person but those are the kinds of things that eat you up you know when you find yourself doing something that you would have never done before in hopes that a friendship with a certain person or someone's going to see you the way that you want them to see you and people never will so don't ever compromise that for acquaintances and drinking friends don't ever do that my next thing is to have fun i know that fun is category is like got different the different meanings for everyone but i do believe i'm at that tender age i'm 21 there's going to be a point in my life where 
um, I'm not going to be able to do the same things that I'm doing now. I'll have a lot more responsibility. Um, and this is something that I think I've done successfully. Have fun. Go off, guys. These are the best years of your life. Um, and the kind of fun we're having now, we're going to have a different type of fun, you know, in a few years. And say yes, say yes more. Say yes more. Experience more. Take more risks and have fun. Uh, because when I look at all the memories that I have throughout the years, just from having fun, just from letting go and letting loose, I don't do that enough. I, I pray that I can do that more. You know, I live too much in my head and I, I know that that's not a very good place to be. Or rather, it's not the best place to make your decisions about everything. So I think having fun and staying out of your head is one of the biggest lessons that i've learned and i'm so grateful that i am satisfied with the amount of fun that i have and i'm having um and i'm never gonna let anybody come in between that uh the very last thing that i have the lighting's doing something so weird i'm um, gonna have my ring light here and everything so i really hope you can see me i hope it's not too bad but the last thing that i've learned is to trust the process this is a lot easier said than done but i spend too much time stressing over the future stressing over my goals that i'm reaching that i'm not reaching stressing over what other people are doing stressing over what other people want me to be that i've lost my faith in my destiny um you know contrary to other beliefs Whatever you believe, I believe that God does place us on this earth with a specific destiny. He puts us on earth to serve a specific purpose. And even when we don't, that's a part of his plan. So trusting in that process. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Don't look at what anybody's doing. Run your own race and do your best all the time. Uh, because even if your best is not good enough for someone else, your best is good enough for God who has faith in our plan and who has faith in whatever he put us on this earth to for us to be another thing don't ever let people tell you who you are you know people have their perceptions of you people will go through things with you people will call you names people will say what they want to say but don't ever allow someone to tell you who you are you know who you are and you know what you want out of life where you come from and you know the truth don't ever allow someone to tell you who you are. Don't ever allow someone to try to define your characteristics, your traits, tell you what you're going to become, what you're going to amount to. The only person that has that power is the man upstairs. And that took me a very long time to realize. I always often used to think that people who can't love you or people who can't support you was a reflection of myself. And I've come to learn that that can never be. Like God is looking at me like, are you stupid? how dare you that can never be like i don't care in what universe i don't care what has to happen that can never be there can never be a point where someone else can tell you who you are and don't ever compromise on that you shouldn't even be shaken by the things that people say about you you shouldn't even be shaken by the perceptions that people have of you because nobody on this earth can tell you who you are because god already knows your heart you know who you are, you know who you want to be, and the people that love you the most accept you for the good and the bad. Don't let randoms come tell you who you are, ever. You're this, they label you, you're this, you're that. Because of this, this is what it makes you, you're the, don't ever let people do that to you. Um, and if that's one thing that I could take away after I turn 21. I really hope that wasn't too deep, but thank you so much to everyone that has supported me up until now and just to everyone that sees the vision you know um i've always believed in myself let me not lie um i've i've recently really started to believe in myself and i've had i have people in my life who, has, who have always believed in me but it's just an extra bonus to have all my subscribers who believe in me too so thank you so much for riding with the chat all of this time um, you really helped me count down, count down to my birthday in the most memorable way and I'll always remember this. Hopefully I can have a birthday um, vlog because at the minute, I could actually update you guys with my plans. Um, at the minute, 
um, there's a chance that me and my closest friends who have been quarantining together all this time um, could drive somewhere. Grahamstown is a very small town, so um, just outside of Grahamstown, obviously that there's a lot um, for that traveling and amounts of people, COVID regulation, um, regulations, etc., etc., etc. But we might go away and just have a good weekend. So of course I'll vlog that. Video number 21 will be posting tomorrow. And thank you for being with the chats. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.